friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday. It's another Friday, so it's another weigh-in day, the first weigh-in of the month of June. The weather here has been so nice. We had several days in the 90s, which I'm here for as long as I can retreat into my home in my central AC to cool off. The dogs and I are loving being outside during the day, so it's been quite a blessing that the weather has been so incredibly nice here. It's really helped me move my body more and stay on track. So we'll chat a little bit more about that when I share my goals for next week. But if you're excited for another weigh-in, workshop topic, setting some goals for the next week, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click that little bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories, highly highly recommend on WW or not, you need to make sure that you're not only eating enough, but not eating too much to reach your health goals. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also all down in that description box. So let's jump into the weigh-in workshop topic and set some goals for next week. I don't know if you can notice a big difference, but I'm officially filming on my brand new camera. I am so excited. I hated filming on my phone. It's been a couple years since I've had to use my phone to film, and I know why even more now I invested in getting a camera. So the quality is going to be so much better. I'm still tinkering with it a little bit. The lens that I purchased is all up in my business, so I'm still figuring out exactly where to sit in my office, how far away you need to be in order for me to not be right here in my face. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the quality and if you feel like I should scoot back a little bit more for future videos. So that was a big highlight of my week. I've been on track. I've been I finished the month of May out strong. As you guys saw my last weigh-in, through the end of the month, I stayed within my challenge goals. So it was a great month, and I've even decided to implement a new challenge for the month of June over on my Facebook group. So if you're not on my Facebook group, come join us. It's not too late to take part in the June challenge. It's all about tracking. We are tracking our food, good, bad, ugly, and I myself am reaching my protein goal every single day, no ifs, ands, or buts. So I'm excited for another challenge month, which helps me stay motivated and on track and led to a pretty successful weigh-in overall results for the month of May. Troy is back to work from his medical leave, so this week I had Palmer by myself for the first four days of the week while he was at work. It was a little tough to get things done, but we're establishing a routine and it's nice to spend a little bit of extra time with him because he's such a sweet little thing. So stay tuned, of course, for future videos showing the dogs. I know you guys love seeing the dogs in my videos. So I would say that I had a great week. So before I jump into my way and let's chat a bit about this week's workshop topic. We're still in the Get Stronger, Stay Stronger series. And this week's topic is, are you ready to make a change? And the questions to ask yourself and the steps to take to make those changes. So knowing how you identify with change, whether or not you embrace change or you struggle with change, there's a few questions that you can ask yourself to see what category you fall in. I will already tell you that I can pinpoint my strategy with change 100%. I love change. I'm here for changing it up. I like any kind of change. In fact, I thrive with change, where my lovely husband hates change. He is somebody who is very routine oriented and doesn't like when that's shaken up. He likes to just be even keel, steady, no change. So to determine where you fall on the spectrum of change, there are some questions that you can ask yourself. Choose the answers of these questions that best speak with you. Question number one, when deciding what health and wellness changes to make, a, I have no problem making changes. B, I find it a little challenging. And C, I'm indecisive is my middle name. I'm 100 million percent A. Question number two, once I decide what change I want to make, a, I always do it even if it takes a few tries. B, sometimes I follow through. And C, I can't seem to make it work. Again, A, 
this girl in A. And question number three, when I face an unexpected change, A, I can adapt even if it requires a bit of effort, B, I can sometimes adjust, and C, I tend to have a hard time acclimating. Again, I'm 100% in A. I take it as it comes. The changes, in my opinion, are great. Life is all about changes. I embrace them. That's actually something that I feel is one of my strong points is being able to embrace the things that are thrown at me. So if you answered mostly A's, you are, hello change, bring it on. When faced with change, remember how you've dealt with it in the past. Leveraging your strength of embracing change you've managed before, you can do it again. Like I said, I knew that I would fall in the category of embracing change. Now, if you answered mostly B's, when it comes to change, you're still steadily in the middle. Can you recall a time when you felt good about making or dealing with change? What factors made you feel confident? What happened when you were less confident? Compare the two. The next time you struggle with change, lean on those successful tools. And if you answered mostly C's, okay, so embracing change isn't really your thing. Shift your narrative by thinking of a time when you did well with change. What worked? How did you grow from that shift? The more you recognize the changes you've embraced, the more likely you'll be able to do it again. So let me know down in the comments, were you an A, a B, or a C? And do you agree with the assessment of how you deal with change? In the past, we've talked about a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. So if you're someone that answered a lot of C's, you generally have more of a fixed mindset. It's hard for you to change things. You have your mind made up. It's fixed. It's settled. It is what it is. And if you answered A's, absolutely, and a lot of B's, then you have more of a growth mindset where you're able to embrace things thrown your way. You're able to grow from things and you're able to embrace change. If you have a fixed mindset, just work on embracing change and embracing the things that are thrown your way. So again, let me know down in the comments if you were an A, a B, or a C, and how you embrace change. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Unfortunately for me, on Tuesday, I started my least favorite time of the month, so I'm pretty much in full swing of it at today's weigh-in, but when I stepped on the scale this week, I'm still down 0.2, even though I am in the middle of my cycle, which to me is a huge win. Like I've mentioned before, generally I gain or maintain my weight when I'm on my cycle. So hey, I'll take a down 0.2 and we are starting the month of June off strong. I'm hoping that next week it catches up once my cycle's finished. I'm staying on track. I'm tracking everything. I'm hitting my protein goal. I'm moving my body always drinking my gallon of water. Hopefully it catches up a little bit with me next week, but you know what? I will take the win of being down during my cycle. So those are my plans for this next week. A little bit more of the same. I'm again, loving these challenges monthly on my Facebook group. It's been so fun. It's been a game changer and very, very, very motivating for me, which I greatly appreciate. So again, down in the comments, let me know if you're an A, B, or C, how your week was, how your weigh-in was, and what your goals are moving into the second or the first full week of the month of June. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed or you're new, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I upload my way in every Friday so you don't want to miss out. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over there and join us as well. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday, friends. And tomorrow I have my massive monthly stock up grocery haul. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful day. Bye.